This is Boxing Tickets NIN Association with Villain Gentlemen. And we're glad to say we tracked down the hammer. He's been a hard man to find this week because he's uh, living the life in a hotel. <laughs> How are you, yes, mate? Um, uh, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, yeah, so I'm down in the, what's it called, the Fight Hotel. Um, Fight Hotel. Taking it easy, taking, taking a few days away. Just uh, Obviously, I have two young kids and sleep was a wee bit of an issue. So this week, I'm just really looking like the focus on on like rest and recovery and and uh and 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 then getting like some of the media stuff done press conference and and like that sort of stuff and and like obviously i know you've been a big big fight fan and stuff before yourself you know even before you're a pro boxer you sort of see the whole stars of the sort of show get to stay in the fight hotel and things like that it's sort of giving you a wee taste of what may be more to come in the future as well so it's you know if you obviously really enjoy staying in a hotel and fight week, you just need to keep performing. Yeah, that's it. I, I need to keep keep winning, and and uh, and then the big fights will come, and and it, it means that that I'll be then I'll be the star soon. Definitely next next year in the field, who knows what could happen. Yeah, you never know. Um, never and obviously, um, I guess obviously, Ta- Natasha is obviously going to be a. You're going to have another child in the way soon as well. So I guess, obviously, you having a week away of peace probably keeps her out of danger. <laughs> yeah, so she... I've, so the last feel was this day two years ago. And I got a few memories on my phone. And Faker would have been maybe six or seven months. And she was mm-hmm. pregnant then. She was pregnant then as well. So this is another massive event where like she's obviously want to go, but, but, she, but, they're, but she can't drink or... And 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 the nerve will be a bit more this time, um. But yeah, so baby number three on the way. Uh, we're, we're both very excited about it. Definitely are, and I know you've sort of told me off camera that's at finishing at three, but who knows? You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Never know. Um, three. I think three. Three, three is like a real nice number. Um, and when when the new baby's born, it's kind of going to be fake girl. We'll just be tur- turning four. Kusla will be two, two and a couple of months, so it's going to be challenging. Um, but uh, it's a decision that we both wanted, um, uh, and uh, and I think like I've always loved kids. I probably would have had kids at a younger age, but Natasha was in like a university, and and then once she finished there, she was trying to get established in like in a job and stuff. So yeah, um, the times right now. Is this the reason why the baseball caps were worn now? Because the grey hairs are starting to kick in. Yeah, um, uh, uh, so we found out maybe ten weeks ago that we're having baby number number three, three. Um, and I went bald and grey, so I'm goosed. <laughs> I think Jamie was actually giving me a compliment today, be saying that uh, the he's pretty much a similar age, but obviously you don't look your age, so you must uh, you must have had to give him a fiver after the press conference for the compliment. Oh, look, Jamie's n- known as the Mexican. It's because he's been in a lot of wars, so that's that's probably a big part to play in it. I I've I've very little like managed the club, um, and uh, and no, I listen. I I'm 33, but I feel I feel freaking 23 to be honest. Definitely, that's obviously a good sign, and you know, and the brain age and everything else like that. If you feel young and everything else, you know, your your world's your oyster. You know, that's what everybody wants. Yeah. Um. Obviously, how good did it feel to be back at City Hall yesterday? Obviously, having fans and stuff there, posing for photographs and autographs and stuff like that. I'm, I'm guessing, obviously, it, it's always true what they say. You don't realise what you have until you lose it. Obviously, not having fans for the last year or so, it's obviously good to have fans back in Belfast and people remembering who you are. Yeah, do you know what? I, I really miss these things. It's I used to go to, like, I used to attend, like, Wayans and public works like as a fan. Um being part of them, it's it's like it's special. Uh who knows if like if these things like these big events in Belfast don't happen like don't happen very often. Um like the T V companies come and and the fans come out in numbers. Uh so no, I I like the buzz about it. I enjoyed it. Um and it, it kinda gets it kinda like sets you up for a fight week. You kinda get like 
like like the feeling for it, you see like what's going on and stuff. So yeah, you know, it was good. Definitely, was. And, and you've obviously now you had a look at your opponent twice. You know, obviously not looking at names or not looking at pictures and stuff online, but your opponent Sergey Goryev. I'm going to get this before the week. The week's out. You know, I'll have his name to a T. Um, yeah. so you sort of had a look at him at the public workout yesterday, um, and obviously very little words from him today where he seemed sort of respectful. But now that obviously you've seen him up close and personal. Does it sort of now where you're? I know you're. Uh, you're always a very polite and friendly person and everything else, but it's sort of get this days now where you're going, just need to picture what I'm going to do to him on Friday night. Yeah, like he, I, he, he seems, he seems like a real nice, like nice guy. He, he, he seems like, like he's respectful, but I've seen, I, I, I've seen some of his fights, and he definitely changes. He, he turns into like a real lunatic. Um, so I. Like I'm taking that as as a pinch of salt. I like he's coming in this fight to take my head off, um, and I'm gonna try and do the exact same to him. Um, he he's like he's what I expected. He's 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 slightly smaller. He's well put together and he looks solid. So uh, there, like there was no surprises. Um, and yeah, it's like like everything's like like as as. Expected, and, and and Jamie sort of said today that he predicts it's going to be Friday the night. Does that sort of put any extra pressure on you? You know, they know that you're going to be in a potential fight of the night, which he thinks might not go the distance. Does it sort of add anything to the fight, or is it just like the game plan still already there? What you're going to do? Yeah, we've 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 really worked on on, on a, a, a game plan, um, and what we're going to do. Like like we've really like plugged it, um. I'm working on it for a good eight nine weeks now. Um, I've I've heard a few people saying that that this fight didn't go over distance. Um, he can punch a bit. He he has a lot of knockouts. He's seven seven knockouts from eleven wins to my eleven from five. So both of us like can punch a wee bit. Um, and there's that potential. So listen, I think it's going to be a real exciting fight. Gorkov comes. He comes aggressively. Um, and as I said, he's going to try and take my head off, and he's going to be walking on the shots as well. So it's going to be exciting. Um, I don't know if it's going to do. I don't know if it's going to go the distance. Um, but obviously, tune in and you'll and you'll find out. And obviously, adding to the fact as well, you're now a pay per view star. Oh, I, I fake TV pay per view. You got to pay to watch. Um, no, uh, we. I suppose a lot of people like were under the um, <laughs> impression that the fate was going to get took up by maybe Sky or BT, but um, instead of having to sign up for like a monthly membership, um, this is like a one-off payment of less than six pounds, so it, like it's good value. Definitely, and and obviously for for fans, it's that's not going to be sort of. Getting the, the feel on Friday night, obviously, why, you know, any of your fans are sort of watching, why should they be sort of forking out like six quid to tune in? Obviously, it's, it's going to support you as a fighter. Um, that was a great night of action as well. You know, just, just do you want to obviously say to fans, obviously, why they should tune in? Or I guess you being a people person as you are, it's entirely up to them if they want to tune in, but they don't want to be missing it. Yeah, no, uh, listen, if it was me and I wasn't on the event and I wasn't going, I would definitely bet. Um, I think if you look at the the four fights I think that's going to be on the app, um, they're going to be very exciting. You have me and Gorkov, which is tend to be like the fight of the night. Um, and I probably think it will be. Uh, and then you have Trump Kenna, who is promising an outright war. And I've and I've talked to him like personally, and yeah, I think it looks like he's going for it. And he's fighting a guy who has 30 knockouts from 39 wins. Um, so. It should be a really good fight. Lee McGregor, who's very, very talented, punches hard in a fight against a guy who is 32-0, so very exciting again. And then probably the biggest All-Irish fight in, in the like recent times anyway, yeah, 30, 40 years. Or like, if we look at the, like the level of that, it's probably history, but there's been some, some big Irish fights like years and years ago. But yeah, Mick, Mick, and, Mick and TJ. It got a bit spicy today as well, like so. So it started off nicey, nicey, and and then it got spicy. So yeah, it's it's promising to be 
a very exciting fight as well. It's definitely, I know they're obviously trying to work out. Um, I think TJ is sort of threatening to sort of walk away because of the, the weights and the rounds and things like that. But I'm sure look at that ironed out in the background. But oh, yeah. it's definitely going to make for, for good entertainment, obviously, the weigh-in on Thursday, you know, whether social distancing sort of allows that they're not like close and personal. But I'm sure there'll definitely be a bit, bit of spice there in, in some capacity. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, I, uh, Mick, Mick got a bit wound up from what from what was said, um, and then they both they kind of went at it, uh, and it adds to like the whole sort of like the whole sort of like the like atmosphere to it. Um, and then I'm expecting Trone to be Trone. Just I don't know what he's gonna do. And and then the rest of us, um, yeah, that I think I I, I think from now the fight is like it's gonna be fun. Definitely, and we we sort of haven't seen in the fight week to run McKenna antics yet as well. So we're sort of wondering, is it going to come at the way in, or is he going to do something crazy for the walkout on Friday night? You just don't know. He's an absolute maniac. He freaking started singing today, didn't he? Just started singing. I missed it because I was trying to trying to download the first press conference. Started the song, so yeah, no, he's 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 a funny character. You must have thought it was an extra X Factor edition today. <laughs> he's through to the judges' yeah. house next week in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> um, but obviously we've, we've just got the way in to go now as well on, on Thursday so you've sort of a day off and things tomorrow after so much press things and stuff the last few days you get a wee bit of time to relax but I'm sure you just can't wait to get weighed in and get something probably solid to eat now yeah listen uh, we may wait very well this time this is I was talking to Tony O'Neill today and um, in terms of making weight this is this is the best that we've done it um, probably helps that that it wasn't too long ago that it was ready to weigh in. Um, so no, and th- and then we had like check weigh-ins as well, so it, it kind of helped as well. Uh, but I am definitely looking forward to getting um, some food like with the team and and plotting what we're gonna how we're gonna go about fight day and and um, and and what it's gonna be like lifting that green belt. And, and have you any predictions for Friday night? Just as long as you win, would you like to? Would you like to help? Obviously, I know you've only had seventy seconds of action in eleven months. Obviously, if your stoppage comes, stoppage comes because against the Russian, you know, it's it's probably true what they say. You probably have to hit them with a breeze block to keep them down because they're just going to keep coming. They're just going to be like, you know, just going to keep coming and coming. So you know, you're probably it's going to be a tough night's work, but you're going to have to do what it takes to win. Listen. It's really about a win. If I can get this guy out of there, like, like I would be able to win. Um, but essentially, I, I just want to win. This, this, this is a, this is, this is nearly a 50-50 fight. The thing that probably is to me is it's in Belfast. Um, he he's coming off some big wins. He's really experienced. He's fought some good guys. He's fought on, on big stages as well. WSB. He, he was coming an event. He got a good win there last time out. He beat he beat a Serbian in a in his own backyard, twenty-seven zero. So. This guy's gonna be up for this fight. Um, if the thing that like maybe leans towards, um, I start with them like for me is he's been down a couple of times in in a, a previous fight, but it was a while ago. He was down early and he got up and he recovered and just lost some points. He was down a couple of times, so his powers of recovery are probably really good. Um, but I don't know if if he's fought somebody like me who who can punch like. Um, and I think I've proven it like before that I can put like I can put people like to sleep. So either I, t- I really I don't know what's going on with the, like the distance. Uh, mm-hmm. As I say, he, I've never been there before. Um, I very early get like buzz and sparring. Like I, I have a good chin. Mm-hmm. Listen, but it's boxing. It can be over in a split second. Um, but I really do think it's going to be a really good fight. For if it lasts ten rounds or if it lasts a round, and like he doesn't, he's not going to know much about you because obviously a lot's changed in your style of of whenever he probably on the Louis Van Poch fight. Obviously, you're under different training things there. Since then, you obviously teamed up with D seventy seconds the Allison fight. You know they're looking at sort of highlight reels of sort of stoppage ones, which would scare him more. And going, Craig, I'm walking into the lion's den here, and I'm 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 obviously getting the prize lion coming out. So. Is relatively unknown of what he's going to see of you. Yeah, listen, 
you can act all cool and cool and calm, but the, the, the reality is you're going to fight a person that can knock you out. And if if I was fighting me and I researched me and I seen them knock out, I would definitely be um, slightly nervous over that. So yeah, it's it it, it could work in both ways, but. Um, I don't think I don't think it's gonna stop his approach to the fight. I think he's he has his way of fighting and um he's super fit and he's gonna come and, and try and and try and knock me out. Yep. Well well look obviously we know obviously uh rest time's important and everything else leading up to the fight. Um you know obviously we'll be there um supporting your corners you always do. Um Team McCrory's always there and twelve and O's incoming on Friday. Um yeah. and the new WBC International Silver. And, and the new is, is exactly what I want to hear. And, and obviously, uh, potentially being ranked in the top 15 as well by WBC as well. So if they can yeah. keep them coming, keep the paydays coming. That's it. I, listen, I'm, I've always said it. I'm riding the wave. My, my first pro fight was a week before my 29th birthday. So we're here now. Um, I've worked really, really hard to get here. So yeah, and the new. And the new. But listen, Polly, well, thank you very much for your time. And I'm sure we'll obviously get a chat with you um, at some stage of the way on Friday. Yeah, and Love Island starts in five minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> no more, Polly. <laughs> Cheers. Speak easy. Bye bye. Bye bye.